Hey, what's up? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Got a beer review from the beloved New Anthem Brewing Project, I think, or New Anthem Beer Project. Yeah, Beer Project, sorry. Um, and this is going to be a double IPA from them. I love this label, by the way. This is called the Amen Break. And uh, this one is Citra Mosaic Eldorado. And there's no date. So, uh, New Anthem is out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, I've had a lot of their beers from um, at this point. Um, it seems like North Georgia, we get a... I'm not in North Georgia, but I live really close to that. So, we get a really decent amount of their stuff. Um, you know, we get a, a pretty good amount of distro from them. Uh, this I actually picked up while I was in Asheville, so um, I thought this would be a cool one to review um, because, you know, apparently all we review on the channel is IPAs. Uh, you know, hate on me if you want. The thing about it is I'm just buying beer that I want to drink, and, uh, you know, I just have fun reviewing it. So, um, at the beginning of the year, uh, this coming year, I do plan to... Uh, diversify the channel a little bit more. Um, IPAs are my favorite to drink, so when I go on a trip, I usually buy a fair amount of uh, IPAs. So with that being said, you know I'm just reviewing beers that I pick up and want to drink. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna make a little bit more of an effort uh, next year, uh, 2020. Too? Yeah, uh, to kind of diversify and uh, expand a little bit. I, I mean, I like a lot of other styles. I love lagers, stouts, sours. Um, you know, I said in the past I want to start getting into some Belgian stuff a little bit. So we'll see what the new year holds. But for now, we're just going to drink what we got because that's what we got. Let's go ahead and get in the glass. Ooh. Nice looking beer there. As if it looks any different than any other New England style, right? Um, yes, fairly aggressive pour on my part, but uh, comes in a nice pale gold color. A little bit of an orange type of hue to it. Um, pretty fluffy. Uh, two and a half finger, uh, bright white, a bright white head with like a little bit of a uh, frothy, creamy type of texture to it. Yeah, looks looks nice. Looks the part, right? Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Holy man, that smells good. This is eight percent, by the way. Oh goodness, man, that is um, it's it's like ripe uh, fruit. Maybe overripe fruit. I'm getting that really cool like dankness that I get out of um, a lot of these uh, sit, you know a lot of these new school um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say basically a lot of these recent beers I guess um, over the last couple of years um, I've been getting a more dank quality to some of the citrusy type of stuff like especially from citra hops um, it comes across just like dirty dank orange juice and that's what I'm getting on this for sure. Like it's straight up dank orange juice. There's a little bit of like a sweet pineapple in there too. Oh man, that smells so good. There's like a little bit of like a, uh, what is that? Something tropical. I'm thinking like mango or, or even like a hint of like guava or something. There's a little bit of like an apricot type of thing floating around too. Dude, this smells really freaking good. I can't wait to try this. Let's go ahead and do it. Cheers. Mm. Man. Dude, that is really flavorful. It's got this nice green like herbaceous type of bite to it like kind of just mid palate but um, it does have that super dank orange juicy vibe going on just think of like cannabis infused um, orange juice or something like that 
Like, it's got that going on. Yeah, it's got that little pop of bitterness that kind of just bites a little bit. It's like that, like I said, herbaceous, green, like, kind of, I don't want to say fresh cut grass, but it's like a, just almost like a little bit of like a vegetal type of bite in it. Um, I don't know how fresh this is, though. I kind of wish I knew. It does have a little bit of like a green type of vibe going on. It's not off-putting, though. There are two types for me. Sometimes that green character can come across in a more pleasant way. Sometimes it's just overpowering, like just an astringent type thing. And that's not very desirable, um, in my opinion. But uh, the way this one's coming through, and I think herbaceous is kind of the best way to put it. Like it's fresh herb, uh, grass, like... Uh, I mean, I guess that's the best way I can think to put it. Like a fresh herb, gra fresh cut grass, and like a little bit of a little bit of a resin type thing, pine resin. But on the back, I'm getting a ton of pineapple and stone fruit and uh, some kind of other. I think it's that same like tropical vibe. I don't know if it's mango, some kind of mango-ish type of deal. Um, but it just hangs out there. Like it's, it's got this sweet finish on it that kind of just hangs out the back of the palate. But it almost has like an aftertaste as if you were just like bit into an orange, a pineapple, and like a peach or something at the same time. Um, and that just kind of sits there, like this little juicy aspect. I really like it. I'm digging it. Hmm. Mouth feels spot on. Nice medium plus. It's got a nice creamy character to it. Uh, light carbonation, to, that, you know, to be expected in this style. Uh, Eight point eight percent. Where is it? I don't know. Just tastes like juice to me. Dank juice, if you will. Dude, I freaking I, I love this. Um, I'm always impressed by New Anthem. I think they just. Whatever they're doing with their IPAs, they, they've they got it dialed in. And um, if you ever get the chance to try them, definitely do so. Uh, I just, I really want to make a trip to that brewery at some point. Um, who knows when that will be. But um, anyway, as far as the rating goes on this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to go 4.4. I think it's really freaking solid. I think it's an A beer. Uh, I think it's super well done, and I would definitely buy this uh, and drink it on a regular basis. So uh, that's my recommendation. That's my two cents, uh, just to kind of, you know, elaborate on my rating. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys, guys have had this beer or any other beers from New Anthem. Um, let me know if you think they're as good as I do. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. We'd definitely appreciate it. And also leave a like and a comment on this video, and let me know what you're drinking on tonight. We'd appreciate it very much. I just turned into like a Swede or something for a second. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!